Hi guys, I'm Leo from MediaWay and today we're going to take a look at this add-on called Physical Starlight and Atmosphere. The add-on is designed to produce a physically accurate simulation of lighting with detailed controls for the sun position and size so you can replicate any time of day or night with controls for cloud or fog. The add-on is designed to produce a physically accurate simulation of lighting with detailed controls for the sun position and size so you can replicate any time of day or night plus controls for clouds and fog. I've built a waterscape scene in Blender to show you some of the features. Once you've installed and enabled the add-on in the preferences, this is the panel that gets added to Blender. The interface looks a bit complicated at first, but it's logically organised into eight categories controlling the sun, atmosphere, clouds and other options. Once you've turned it on with this tick box, you can see in the viewport that your scene is instantly transformed. You get this beautiful band of colour through the sky and across the horizon, which gives a lovely natural look to your scene. I find it helps to use this add-on with the colour management settings under the Render Properties menu. I've been mostly using the exposure control to control the amount of light cast by the sun. You can control the sun position left and right with the azimuth control and the height of the sun using the elevation control. And you can even add in a binary sun to get that authentic Star Wars look. If I've got one criticism, it's that the documentation doesn't cover all the controls in the add-on. I've no idea what my scattering is, but it seems to control how bright the atmosphere is. The add-on comes with several presets which are accessible via the Asset Browser. You can just drag them from the Asset Browser straight into your scene. This is a brilliant way to quickly try out different looks and it's a really impressive way to get some great results in a short amount of time. The clouds are fully controllable and procedural. You can change their size, the amount of cloud coverage with the sliders, and tweak the position with the rotation and location controls. This is a great way to frame your sun perfectly to fit your scene. The other important setting is the object fog which helps tie your scene together and add a haze over different objects. This really ramps up the realism and makes your scene look more like a photograph than CG. I've really enjoyed using this add-on. It's a great way to add realism and atmosphere to an outdoor scene in a really quick and easy way. I got all of these different looks just by changing settings in the add-on. The control you have over the lighting makes it much more versatile than a HDRI. And the additional controls make it a huge improvement over the built-in Nishita Sky Texture. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, I've got a link in the description below where you can find it on the Blender Market. 